In this video, I'm gonna do something that's never been done before. I'm gonna shoot, edit, and deliver these images in less than 15 minutes. This is the world's first X100V band photography speed run. Dude, these are cool. So last week, I met up with the boys in Waxflower before their show in Melbourne. After a quick catch up, we went out to shoot some band promos before soundcheck, and then Dan dropped this bomb on me. All right. Probably like 15 minutes. 15 I know minutes. that's like short timing. Cool. All right. I just, just I just came up with the know. concept of this video. Right there in that moment, I made a decision and I knew exactly what this video had to be. Sick. I've got 15 minutes to shoot and deliver this to you guys. Oh, fuck oh, yeah. No. And deliver. Don't jump in that, bro. You can go into the Dropbox link. <laughs> I'm shooting JPEG. And I'm going to send it to you. I've got 15 minutes. Actually? Yeah. Shall we? Set the timer. Oh, no. And from that point on, there was no turning back. Yeah. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't a little bit nervous, but this type of photography is something that I've done hundreds of times before. And, you know, I felt pretty confident all the same. All right, fellas, do you guys, does anyone have a side that they prefer that they want to I be like on? I to be in the back. I don't you want to be back? Cool. Give me the under the ass guys, man. Do you have a side that you like? Um, I, yeah, left side, left side, strong side. Left, left side? <laughs> cool. Okay, let's get you just in the corner of this doorway here. Yep. Dan, come over this side. Nikki can just be over here. Remind me, sorry, Jordan. Well, Jordan, that's right, Jordan. Can I get you to just sit on the step here, Jordan? Yes, I can do that. There we go. Oh, oops. What are we feeling, Nick? Portra 800. Let's go. Can't go wrong. Let's go on. Beautiful. Okay. Um, lean, Tristan, lean in the doorway. There we go. Good. Nick over there. Tristan here. And Dan, you're looking over that way. Here we go. Ready? Three, two, one. Good. Tristan, can you? Yeah, I, I want a little, a little more a little something. Bit, a little yeah, more angst, you know? yeah, good. Even if you, even if you want to crouch or something like that, I think that's cool. There we go. Nice. All right, ready? Three, two, one. Nick, come a little closer. First thing I did jumping into this was just take a little survey of the band and just find out if anyone has a preferred side that they like to be shot on, because you can take the best photos in the world compositionally, settings, whatever. But if the person is not happy with the side of their face that you're showing or, you know, the, the angle that you're getting off them, then chances are they're not going to be happy with the photo. All right, and here we are off to the next spot. I think probably one of the most stressful parts about this was not the actual shooting, but instead was walking around and just looking for somewhere interesting to photograph because I'd never been to this place before. Literally, this was just a block outside the venue and we had a very, very short window to do this, obviously. So here I am power walking, kind of leaving the band behind and just walking around until I can find something interesting to photograph. Let's do, let's go this way. If you've watched my videos before, you'll know how I was planning to pull this off and that is by shooting the X100V and taking full advantage of the film simulation recipes. And what that is basically is different looks that you can program into the camera. So when you shoot, it is applied right then and there. And even as I'm looking at the back of the screen, the look is on the image. So I'm basically seeing what the final output is going to be as I'm taking the photo. It's so useful and it just cuts out a bunch of steps later on. You often miss out on my new videos. Love it, love it. I wouldn't say this is the strongest look of the lot, but I just really liked how mundane and suburban this looked. These little terrace houses, I think, just really lend them to something in this style of music. The guys play sort of broadly pop punk. I'm not exactly sure what you'd call the genre. Um, but yeah, sort of the mundane suburban thing. I want a little, I really like your level of smiling, Jordan. It's just like a little, just a little bit of that, not too serious. That's there we go. Good. <laughs> Good. Beautiful. Three, two, one. Um, again, Tristan looking here, everyone else. I, would, I want you to look off longingly into the distance. There we go. Good. Great. One like this. Everyone back looking here. Good, last one, ready? Three, two, one, and we're off. It's like we're on the fucking run, hey, it's so good. <laughs> <laughs> yes! <laughs> <laughs>
Ah, there we go. So let's get two more little looks because I have to have time to download them and send them to you as well. Oh my god, you're actually gonna do it. Yeah. Okay, here we go. I like this blue. Wait, are you shooting on film, mate? I'm shooting JPEGs. It's a digital camera, Dan. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, here we're gonna fall into this frame here. Okay, this next spot really caught my eye more than anything else, and we were lucky to stumble across it. I think whatever was on the front of this building, I think it might've been some advertising or something. It had this perfect little frame and I really liked the sort of pastel blue tones as well. I think that um, really suited the vibe here. Again, the boys did really well here with only a very small amount of direction. They're able to fall into something, you know, quite aesthetic, quite usable. And I really appreciate that. Boys looking down that way. Yeah, I like it, I like it. And I will not get run over. Um, Tristan only looking here. Three, two, one, excellent. Three, two, one. Man, this, this film simulation looks so good in the sun, but it doesn't look as good in the shade. Tristan looking over that way and all the other boys looking here. And then give me that little squint, that little smile. There we go. Three, two, one. Tristan, tiny step forward. And then Nick just tuck in behind. There, there we go. Good, yeah. That's nice. Three, two, one. Good. A few more because I'm really digging it. So halfway through this set, I swapped to a different film. On the back of the camera, the Portra 800 simulation that I had just kind of looked a little bit washed out. As I'm looking at them now on the computer, I actually really like it and I would have been totally happy to stick with it. But looking at it at the time, I wanted a little bit more contrast, which is why I swapped to the Kodachrome 64 preset, which is just a little bit grimier, a little bit more contrast, a little bit dirtier. And I thought it might suit this scene. And I think it looks pretty good. Three, two, one. All you boys looking here. Three, two, one. Last one, ready? Three, two, one. Excellent, and we're off. All right, let's head back that way towards the venue. I would have loved to walk around to find another texture similar to the one that I just got then. I think that one was really, really strong and definitely the best out of the set. I forgot to put a microphone on, but we've got eight minutes to go. In a perfect world, I might have liked to walk around a little bit longer and search until we found a really strong texture like the one that we just used. But obviously the time constraints of this challenge didn't really allow that. So I just had to keep going and, you know, find something, settle for something. And I'm not unhappy with it, but definitely with a little bit more time, uh, the shoot could have been a lot stronger, but it is what it is. I think it still works. I think what caught my eye with this one was the sort of creepy garden. As we walked past, I would have liked to jump the fence into this little garden or, you know, perhaps be on this creepy doorstep. But at the end of the day, it's someone's house and I want to be respectful to them. It looked abandoned, but you never know in these sort of areas. So I settled for this sort of leafy, um, overgrown background. And they just worked a few different poses in here. Hopefully the photography is better than the cinematography <laughs> of this shit here. It's hard, you're doing both. Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's do... Come out a little bit, guys. Yeah, there we go. Um, Nick, I'll pop you over this side. Oh, no. Let's swap oh, no. you two. And yeah. then... Dan, I'll have you on here. There we go, good. Yeah, let's have a look at that. Good, and then... Tristan, come a bit more front on towards me. There we go. Yeah. Let's have a look at that. All right, ready guys? Three, two, one. And Jordan, just shift your weight to the other side. There we go, good. 
Yeah, nice. Nick, I like you looking off down there. That's good. Ready, three, two, one. Hindsight is 2020, and it's easy to look back now and think about things that I might have done differently. Looking at that trailer, that's actually really cool, and I like some of the you know pastely tones of the things in the back of the trailer. So maybe I could have sat them on and around it or leaned them up against it. I think that could have been cool. Probably a missed opportunity there. A couple of the shots here I took were slightly out of focus. I'm not sure why. I don't know if my hand wasn't quite steady enough. Um, yeah, I was shooting at an 80th of a second and I had also stopped down quite a bit because I had a, a bit of extra depth in this shot because I had Tristan standing a bit further forward than the other guys i'd stop down to like i forgot what it was 6.3 or, or something like that to try and get them all in focus and in hindsight i probably didn't have to do that i could probably gotten away with like f4 or something and increase the shutter speed a little bit but it uh yeah you uh you roll with the punches three two one beautiful and we're off thank you mate Ready? Right, cool. Now we've got, we got to deliver. Good hustle. Oh, now you got to deliver. How long yeah. you got left? Cool. Can you hold it? Yeah. He's editing right now. Well, we'll walk back. Yeah. Let's go. I got a little trick on my sleeve. <laughs> That's totally fine. We need the RS3 out. Four minutes. Four minutes 20. Okay, that was officially the end of the shoot. I handed over the camera to Nick and straight away I pulled the camera, the card out of the camera and in my pocket was my little secret weapon, the little lightning to SD card adapter. So I plugged that into the bottom of the camera with a bit over four minutes to go and I started the transfer process. I pretty much always shoot RAW and JPEG because I just can't not have the RAWs available to me. You never know the photo you're gonna take, you never know what you're gonna to wanna to do with it in the future or perhaps process it differently. And I always wanna keep that in my back pocket, but it did make, I would say probably 60 to 75% more data to transfer, which means it's gonna be a lot slower, which means I'm at mercy of the cable, I'm at mercy of the speed of the card, you know, and, and the processor in my phone. Um, anyway, so here I am frantically selecting all the shots and transferring them over with my Apple Lightning to SD card adapter. This thing is an absolute gem. It's a lifesaver. It's just such a handy little tool to have. I'll link it in the description if you want to pick one up for yourself. I use it all the time. The band was so good about it though. I think they had as much fun as I did and they were sort of like, man, I wish all of our shoots were that easy because let's be honest, it's actually, for the average person, it's not that easy to have your photo taken. A lot of people are nervous. A lot of people are self-conscious. I think bands probably included. And, you know, to make it quick and painless and still come away with something really good, I think that's a real win. And um, anyway, I'll let you see the results for yourself. I don't want to spoil anything. Are you sticking around? I don't know if I'll stick around to the end. Oh, what time do you guys play? 8.30. Yeah, I think so. I'll see you guys at least. Cool. waiting for them to download. Okay, you can see here there's less than two minutes remaining and there's not much I can do now but wait for it to tick over. Thankfully, I had Nick out here filming for me and as they processed on my phone, I was going to airdrop them straight to his phone. This was actually pretty tense at this stage and there was nothing I could really do but wait. As you can see, they sort of tick over very, very slowly. That's the last one finishing just now. And as we do that, I grab the camera, set it up, and I airdrop the photos to Nick. Oof, I know at this point the clock is against me. Luckily, airdrop is pretty quick, but even still, the clock is literally ticking before my eyes, and I'm trying to work out the settings on Nick's phone. Not his fault. He wasn't prepared for this. This, this is all my fault. Okay, here we go.
They're sending now 30 seconds to go, quite a bit of data to transfer. I think there was around, yeah, like 37, 38 shots maybe. <laughs> my phone is filthy. 18 seconds. Oh, dude. 17 seconds, seconds to go. Oh my God. You're there? Yes, got him. Check your camera off. I can't believe it. It came down to the absolute <laughs> wire. This last five seconds was literally make or break. Uh, dude, we're on. we're on. We're on. We're on. There we go. Shit, two seconds. We're on. Second. He's got Holy him. shit, that was so close. Just <laughs> in the nick have a look, of see if there's time. Any in there. Dude, these are cool. Is that clutch or is that clutch? I feel my phone is still I apologize. That's, That's cool. cool. <laughs> These are cool, man. <laughs> That's mad. The speed run. Oh, yeah, that's nice, that one. Really cool. Beautiful. Oh, we did it, man. Thank you for coming along for the ride. Thank you, thank First you. ever band from a speed run. X100V is what made it possible with the little SD little to lighting adapter. <laughs> That's really cool. Fuck yeah. That's mad. Thank you for doing that, hey? Pleasure, really mate. Cool. Pleasure, that was fun. That was a good way to make a quick video. Thank you for watching. I've just popped up another video on screen now. If you are into the X100V content, I think you might really enjoy this one too. Cheers. Pew.